Here are the six furniture layouts for your living room that will change the way you relax, entertain, and enjoy your home. These layouts are not just about arranging furniture. They're about creating an atmosphere, a flow, and a function that suits your lifestyle. Besides that, we will also discuss the different types of furniture in the living room, including their standard dimensions and the ideal distance between each piece of furniture. By knowing these dimensions and distances, you can make informed decisions when buying new furniture or rearranging your current setup. Ensuring your living room is not only stylish, but also practical and welcoming. If you're planning to rearrange your living room furniture, contemplating a new look, or buying new furniture for your living room, this video is for you. Let's get started. Classic layout. This layout is perfect if you want the TV to be the center of your living room. You place a three-seater sofa in front of the TV with two chairs on each side and side tables in between. This layout is great for families that enjoy watching TV together. The side tables provide a handy spot for drinks and snacks and should be within easy reach. Conversational layout. If you often throw parties or enjoy having friends over for a chat, this layout might be for you. You keep the sofa in place, but move the chairs to the front and middle. This layout encourages conversation as it allows everyone to face each other. The chairs should be about 1.5 to 2 meters apart to allow for comfortable conversation without shouting. The TV is turned off or moved to the side, making the focus of the room the conversation and not the TV. Casual and balanced. This layout is a balance between a TV-centric and a conversation-friendly layout. It's ideal if you don't want to rearrange your furniture every time you have guests over. The TV is in a central location, perfect for watching from the sofa, and there are two chairs with a side table in the center for drinks or books. This layout is great for both relaxing and entertaining. L-shape layout. This layout is named for its shape. The sofa is placed perpendicular to the TV and the chairs are in front, creating an L-shape. This layout allows for easy movement in your living room and is great if your walkway is on one side of the room. U-shape layout. This layout is similar to the L-shape, but with an additional chair or love seat opposite the sofa creating a U-shape. This layout is great for fostering conversation as it allows everyone to face each other. Angular layout. If your room has a difficult shape or you prefer a more casual layout, you might want to try the angular layout. You place the sofa and coffee table diagonally and adjust the positions of the side tables to create a cohesive look. This layout brings everything closer together, making it great for TV watching. Here are the various pieces of furniture that you'll typically find in a living room. These are the sofa, coffee table, side table, ottoman, love seat, armchair, console table, and entertainment center. Let's start with the sofa. The sofa is a large, comfortable piece of furniture that is made for sitting or lying down. Usually, it can seat about three people. The standard dimensions for a sofa are about 2.0 to 3.0 meters in length, 0.9 meters in width, and 0.9 meters in height. Sofas are often made from materials such as leather, fabric, or synthetic materials. The love seat is quite similar to the sofa, but it's a little smaller. It's like a cozy mini sofa, and it typically accommodates two people. Its standard dimensions are 1.5 meters in length, 0.9 meters in width, and about 0.9 meters in height. The materials used for love seats are often similar to those used for sofas. Now, let's move on to the armchair. An armchair is a chair with side structures to support the sitter's arms. It is usually for one person. The standard size of an armchair is about 0.9 meters in length, width, and height. Next is the ottoman. This is a versatile piece of furniture which you can use as a footrest, a seat, or sometimes even as a coffee table. Ottomans are usually about 0.45 meters high and can be around 0.6 to 0.9 meters in both length and width. They are often upholstered in fabric or leather. Speaking of coffee tables, this is a low table designed to be placed in front of the sofa or love seat. It's perfect for setting down your coffee cup, hence the name. Its typical size is about 1.2 meters in length, 0.6 meters in width, and 0.45 meters in height. Next to the coffee table, you might often find a side table. It's a small, handy table that's perfect for a lamp, books, or your glasses. The standard size of a side table is around 0.6 meters in all dimensions. Then, we have the console table. This is a long, narrow table that's often placed against a wall. It's ideal for displaying decorative items. The standard size for a console table is around 1.2 meters in length, 0.4 meters in width, and 0.9 meters in height. Lastly, the entertainment center. This piece of furniture is typically larger and designed to house your TV, stereo, and other electronics. The standard size for an entertainment center varies greatly depending on your needs, but they are often about 1.5 meters in length, 0.4 meters in width, and 0.9 meters in height. Remember, while these measurements are standard, 
furniture can come in all sorts of sizes to fit different living spaces. And the choice of materials and styles can greatly influence the atmosphere of your living room. You could also add rugs and lighting stands to your living room for an extra touch of style and comfort. The rug is a great way to tie together all the different pieces of furniture in your living room. It can add warmth, color, and texture, helping to define the space and create a sense of coziness. When selecting a rug, consider materials such as wool for durability or synthetic fibers for easy cleaning. And remember, your rug should be large enough to at least accommodate the front legs of your furniture to create a cohesive look. The floor lamp or light stand is a tall lighting fixture that can provide ambient, task, or accent lighting, depending on your needs. Its typical height is around 1.5 to 1.7 meters, with a width of about 0.3 to 0.5 meters. The choice of material for your floor lamp can range from metal and glass to wood, or even plastic, depending on the style of your living room. So pick your furniture carefully to ensure it meets your needs and aesthetic preferences. In order to create a comfortable and spacious living room, it's important to understand the recommended clearances between furniture pieces. The arrangement and space between furniture pieces play a key role in the functionality and flow of your living room. Firstly, when arranging your seating furniture like the sofa, love seat, and armchairs, you should aim for at least 150 centimeters of space between seats that face each other. This allows for ample legroom and ensures that conversations can be had comfortably without the need to raise your voice. It also creates a cozy yet spacious area for family and friends to gather. Next, it's important to have at least 50 centimeters of free space for moving between furniture pieces. This is particularly important when considering the placement of your coffee table, side tables, and ottoman in relation to your seating. Not only does this allow for easy movement around the room, but it also makes for a more open, less cluttered living room. When thinking about the main traffic areas in your living room, the paths you frequently walk, you'll want to keep these as clear as possible. A minimum of 90 centimeters is recommended. This could be the space between your sofa and entertainment center, or between your armchair and console table. Maintaining this space allows you and your guests to move around freely without any obstacles. Lastly, when positioning your entertainment center or TV, make sure there's at least 150 centimeters between your TV and the seating. This ensures a comfortable viewing experience without straining your eyes or neck. And remember, this distance may need to be adjusted depending on the size of your TV. These recommendations aim to create a balance between functionality and comfort in your living room. Of course, these are not strict rules, but general guidelines. Every living room is unique in its shape and size and therefore might require some adjustments to these clearances. But remember, your ultimate goal is to create a comfy and spacious living area that reflects your style and meets your needs. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll discuss more about interior design tips and ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest insights. Also, check out the links in the description for products similar to those we've discussed. Your support helps us create more content for you. Thanks and see you next time.